Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and a friend of mine sent me this file, and he's going to print it, and I know nothing about printing or sublimation, but he's saying that the bottom two pieces of the sun look jagged, and he's afraid it's going to show up in the printing where everything else is crisp and sharp, and as you get further away, the bottom two sections look jagged. Well, it's a power clip, so something's going on. There's a telltale sign of a power clip. So, Mike, I... If you could recreate this blend or get your blend back from the power clip, just go backwards and get that blend back. I created a blend that's not close to yours. And use the intersect tool. Uh, you have to do these individually, kind of, but it's not that big a deal. I would select that, hold down the shift and select your blend and hit intersect. I would select that, hold down your shift, select both of them, and hit intersect. Select that, whoop, select that one first, shift, intersect. And then when you take your deal away, your blend away, you can left click, no outline, and you have good, crisp, sharp lines. And that would always be safer than a power clip. A lot of times, some people have had trouble with power clipping showing up. You know, like if they power clip a big box in here, it will lightly engrave. So I'm not a big fan of power clipping in some cases. Now this looks like it worked because there's nothing behind it. If we do this, it's a blank box. But this would solve your problem for sure. Just uh, use the intersect tool. Now you have to do them individually. For some reason you can't intersect them all three. I guess it's just part of the intersect part. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.